tignan muna natin yung situation with uh, Donald Trump, no? Minish okay. mo na eh. Mm. Uh, they're, they're, uh, of course, ang focus ko security. I'm not an uh, econo- uh, economist, no? Yeah. Well, ang nangyari nun, uh, go back, let's go back to 2016, October, there was an impending breakdown. Kasi nagkasamaan nga ng loob si then-President Barack Obama, then of course, President Rodrigo Duterte, when they met in Laos. Mm. So pagdating dito ni uh, President uh, Duterte, he wanted a total break from the United States because he felt he was insulted by Barack Obama when Barack Obama canceled yung one-on-one nila, no? I won't mm. discuss the details. Yeah. But it was saved primarily because, number one, the armed forces of the Philippines said, uh, no, we need the alliance. Then, of course, nangyari yung election. You know? uh, President Trump uh, won the election. Uh, President Duterte gave him the benefit of the doubt. Then mm. by December, he got a call from President uh, Trump saying, I don't have any problems with your drug wars. You're a sovereign mm. country. So at that time, President Trump was already signaling to President Duterte, I can work with you. Human uh-huh. rights issues, extrajudicial killings are none of my business. What is important is, of course, we maintain this alliance. Then mm. early May, he received another call, in fact, inviting him to go mm. to the White House. Then, of course, pumotok yung Malawi. Then the United States provided him all the is- assistance he yeah. needed to deal with those Islamic militants. Weapon mm. system, yung mga weapons na binigay, reconnaissance plane, then even the training ng mga pilots natin na hindi may mention publicly. Mm-hmm. Kasi nagkaroon nga ng friendly fire noon, a number of our pilots no, were brought to the United States and were given training on how to conduct ground interdiction. So, mm-hmm. he, you know, so by uh, when President Trump visited the Philippines in November 20, uh, 2017, there were best of buddies. Mm-hmm. So in fact, uh, in terms of the alliance, the alliance survived and to a certain degree thrived because the Trump administration exercised what I call strategic patience and understanding. And we mentioned mm-hmm. uh, when President Duterte declared that he wanted to abrogate the Bissing Force Agreement, President Trump even said, great, so we won't have any more problems. Mm-hmm. So and even during the time of the pandemic, I don't know if you remember, uh, you have a lot of assistance coming in. 